Yo, what's going on guys? King Kachi here and I'm going to be talking about the trade chat filter system. I actually gotten a number of messages from people in game asking me how to use the trade chat filter system. How does it work? They don't actually know what happens to the trade chat once they actually put active filters in based on what they're trying to sell or what they want to buy or whatever the case may be. All right. So in order to understand it, we need to see how it actually works first. Now, this filter system, it seems like it goes through the clan, the alliance, region, recruiting, and the trade tab, of course. Now, as you can see on the triangle, you will see like a magnifying glass there, okay? Now, as you can see, the trade chat is moving. Everybody's putting their stuff in, right? Pretty much, I don't have an active filter in. So, if you want to cancel all of that, what you want to do is press triangle, and as you can see, it says trade chat filter. Now, I can include the terms. Pretty much, I have it checked right now, or I, you could just take it off like so. So, if you want to include the filter in, you just type in what you want. Now, for example, let's see. Uh, I'm just spitballing here. Okay. You could put Ash Prime. You could have Ash Prime like that. You could include another filter in. You could also include Vectus include Vectus Prime and I'll put in Carrier Prime you could just leave it like that now once it's set like that you could just press done and as soon as you hit done it will filter out all of the stuff the only, the only things that should be moving is something that's Ash related, Vectus related, or Carrier related now you see from where the guy, the name, it says ITR DM, DM1988, that guy right there that said want to sell Vectus Prom set for 50 plat. Pretty much that's all I'm going to be seeing either Ash Prom related, Vectus Prom related, or Carrier related. They could put everything else, but as long as it says Ash Prime in it, either they're selling or they're buying. I'll be able to see it. Okay. So as you can see, people will put in their stuff right there. Now see, he wants to buy Vectus Prime. I filtered it out so that I could see either people buying Vectus or selling. So let me just go to this guy and message him just, you know, just to see what he's asking for. So he said, he said PM offer. I'm going to say Vectus Prime set 100. I'm just going to put that there because he wants to buy Vectus. Now if you go down the list here, as you can see. Now he's put he put Ash Prime Neuroptics. That's still related to Ash. It could be blueprint, helmet, system, chassis. Same thing with Vectus. It could be the blueprint, it could be the stock, receiver, barrel, and same thing with carrier with all of the parts in it as well. So I pretty much filtered out the whole thing. So anything that I see is gonna be either related to Ash, Vectus, or Carrier. Alright? As you can see, keep going down. You see Vectus, Ash, want to sell Ash. They could put anything else, but as long as something Ash related, I'll be able to see it. Because I filtered out this I filtered out the trade chat just so that I could see either Ash, Vectus, or Carrier. Now, the only bad thing out of all of this is that you you just limit yourself. You're only seeing Ash, Vectus, and Carrier. Yes, they'll put other stuff in, but you will only see things with Ash Vectus Carrier. That's just for me. Now, you could expand on that if you want to. I could also put Trinity Prime in there. Just so that I could open it up a little bit more. Alright? Put Trinity in there. I could also put Mag Prime in there. Because I also have a set for Mag. So I could put that in there. Press Done. No, I, I, <coughs> As you can see... The mag is in there. The only thing about it is that it has to be expanded, but it's also there. So now as you see with the guy, he put one to sell Trinity for 40. As you can see, Ash Prime Neuroptics and Ash Prime. There you go. So I'm just going to close that because he didn't respond to me. But is that as far as with the trade chat filter system, it's good, but it's also bad. Anything as far as within video games, whatever it is, you have your good and your bad. The filter system is good, but it's also bad. For me, 
I'm somewhat in the middle with it anyway. I like to keep it open, but if I want to uh, sell specific stuff, I could just filter it all out. Now, what you can do to make it uh, simple for yourself, you can also remove filters, which is nice. So it's like you don't want to have this in there. You can just remove that, remove this, remove this, press done. Now I filtered it out, so all I see is Ash and Mag. So that's all I should be seeing, Ash and Mag. Anything that's Ash related, I'll see it. If it's Mag related, I'll see that. Now since I filtered it out just like that, I could just be like, you know, want to sell Ash Prime Set, Mag Prime Set. And what's also with the trade, um, trade chat system now is that once you put your whatever you want to sell or you want to buy there's a timer there so now you could be like oh how much time I have left and all that stuff the timer is there so you know so now I just put that there I could just go about my business whatever the case may be but anything if you see the trade chat move like that you will see okay it's just ash and mag people are putting down they'll put other stuff there but they'll combine it with ash and mag that's why I could see it because they put something in relates to Ash or Mag. That's pretty much how the, the filter system is as a whole. But as you see, it's limited because I reduced it to, to just those two things. But if you don't want it like this, you could just remove these filters. Press done. And now you see the trade chat is going to be moving like consistently people will put in their stuff and so on and so forth so that's pretty much how the trade chat filter system works pretty much that's how it is once you put your thing down you filter it all out but if you don't want to have the filter system in you could just remove it and the trade chat will move as if the filter system never existed it'll just move the same way so that's how you interact